Hello everyone and welcome to the installation instructions for the Imperial Civil War 2.2 demo, the Hunt for Zinj demo. Uh, so if you're seeing this, it means it has been released or is about to be released. There will be a link in the description. If the length of the video seems off-putting, don't worry about that. It's just because I'm covering all three different versions of the game and explaining all the things you need to know for each one separately. Uh, so the video is just sectioned off like that. You don't need to watch all like 20 minutes or whatever. So... I'm going to cover all three ways to install the mod, so whether you have the Steam version, the Retail version, or the GOG version, uh, it'll be in here. Make sure you have annotations turned on because I've got annotations up at the top there. Uh, that'll bring you directly to the start of each section. They're all covered separately. You don't need to watch all of them if you only have the one version. Uh, first off though, there is one program you're going to need. Uh, so you will need the program 7-Zip. You'll either need 7-Zip, WinZip, or WinRAR. You need some sort of compression program. They're all very standard programs. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to get 7-Zip because it is the, it's open source. It's one of the most user-friendly of them. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to get that one, but again, it doesn't matter which one you have, which one you use. So this is it, 7-Zip.org, or 7-Zip.org. There's going to be a link in the description of this as well. Uh, and then pick whichever of the EXEs is used for your computer here, or whichever operating system you have, whether it's a 32-bit or 64-bit system. Uh, if you're not sure, the 32-bit one should work for you regardless. Uh, so you're just going to download that. I already have it downloaded and installed, but just to show you install. So again, pretty standard, and then that'll give you some compression options that we're going to be using to install the mod. Uh, and again, this is something that you'll use for most mods, especially for Empire at War, so it's very useful to have anyways. All right, so uh, there should be a screen coming up with all the option with all the annotations, so make sure you have the annotations turned on, and that'll get straight into the installation instruction. So for your Steam copy, you're going to want to navigate into the folder called Corruption. So that'll be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Star Wars Empire War, and Corruption. So let's go through that like this: Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Empire at War. Corruption. You're essentially looking for the folder that has this file in, swfoc.exe. If you don't see the .exe part, that's fine. That probably just means you don't have file extensions turned on as visible. But then in that folder, you're going to want to put a folder called Mods. So you can just do right-click, New, Folder, but uh, you probably have one already. You just go in there, and then you'll see the folder called icwdemo.zip. Let's get rid of that. Actually, it'll be... There we go. So it's icwdemo.zip. Uh, you, it'll ask me if I want to replace stuff, but you won't have to do that. So you're gonna want to. It'll want to by default if you're using 7-zip. I'll just actually show you the options again. Uh, I have extract all. This is from 7-zip, and then with WinWar you get the option to extract here, extract to, and extract files. Uh, WinZip is pretty similar to WinRAR or 7-zip. Uh, it's a similar one. By the way, if you have the option to extract here, use that one. That's the simplest. Otherwise, we're going to do the 7-zip way because that's what I showed you how to download at the start of the video. Extract all. And you, it, it's going to, by default, want to put an extra folder in there. You're going to want to get rid of this and just have it extract to the mods folder directly. So we're doing that. And you can see the ICW22 demo just came up. And uh, it'll start sooner or later. It'll ask me if I want to replace some stuff. But... Uh, rather than sit here and wait for it, I'm just going to show you it. When we come back, it'll be extracted. So now that it's, extra it's extracted, there should be a few new items in your mods folder. I'll just open this up. So you'll have the demo folder itself. You'll have a readme for the defreezer that we've included. You'll have the defreezer. This is for the unit selection bug. So if you ever have the issue where you can't move your units, uh, that applies to the base game, to any other mod. You can use that, but that's not really what we're talking about here. Then you have the icwdemo.bat and the icwdemo install readme. Uh, I just have a bunch of other stuff because I have other mods installed. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you don't need the icwdemo.bat for the Steam version. The next thing you do is you want to make sure that you have the folder directly properly. Uh, a lot of people do mess this up. So you want to make sure that you're going from your corruption folder to mods into the icw22 demo, and then you have all these. So it's really just uh, the data folders in there, rather than it being, some people will have it so that it goes from mods, ICW22 demo, and then they'll have another instance of another folder, and then they'll get to data. 
you don't want them. You want to go directly mods, ICW2 do demo, and then data. If it's if you have the extra folder, just uh, cut this uh, cut this folder out of it and put it directly in the mods folder. No big deal. So the way to actually activate the mod is you go into your Steam library, right click on uh, Empire at War Gold Pack, Properties, Set Launch Options, and you want to write this in. So mod path equals mods slash ICW22 demo. And this is just the name of the folder. So whatever the folder is called in here is what you're calling it in here. And this is where it's telling it to load the data folder from. That's essentially all it's doing when you're launching a mod. So I could do that with any of these here. If you're playing a, a Halo Campaign Commander, you just play Halo because that's the name of the folder here. But for this, ICW22 demo. And then you'll just run, you'll launch the mod by running uh, Empire at War normally through Steam. So you just fire that up, Forces of Corruption, and that'll bring the game up. That's all you got to do for the Steam installation. For the GOG version, it's very similar to the disk version. So it's essentially the same thing, it's just a different file structure. So the first thing you wanna, you're you going to want to do is go to your GOG folder and then get to the EAWX folder. So uh, the way it, I have the GOG client, it might be a little bit of a directory to get to it, but you're looking for the EAWX folder with the swfoc.exe uh, file there. If you can't see .exe, it means you probably just have file extensions turned off, no big deal. Uh, but we're, in this folder, we're going to want to make a folder called mods. You'll probably have that folder already. Then you're going to want to put the demo in there. So once you're here, you're just going to extract here. Uh, well, actually, uh, with 7-zip, which is what I showed you how to download at the start of the video, you'll have the option to extract all. If you have WinRAR, and I think WinZip has the same options, you can do extract here, open with, extract files, extract to. If you have this option, use extract here. But otherwise, use extract all, extract files, whatever. You just want to make sure that the folders get to the, uh, to the places where I'm going to tell you where they go. Uh, so if you have to move some stuff along around after you've extracted it, that's fine. Uh, usually it's just moving it from one folder to another because you'll end up with a duplicate folder. But again, it's no big deal. So we just start by doing extract all. And then we want to make sure we get rid of this here. Because it'll create this folder for us automatically when we need it. We don't need a duplicate of it. Otherwise, we'll have an ICW slash 22 or ICW 22 demo slash ICW 22 demo. We don't want the duplicate there. So we'll get rid of that. It attracts directly to mods. So this is going to take a couple minutes. I'm just going to stop the recording here and get right back to you when it's extracted. All right, so now it's all extracted into your mods folder. So what you're going to have here, you'll have your demo file folder itself. Uh, you'll have the defreezer files, which is what you use in case you ever run into the uh, the unit selection freeze bug that Empire at War has. Uh, you can just check with the readme to see how to use that. It's not really what we're covering here, though. And I shouldn't have opened that. Uh, you'll also have the, the zip file you downloaded. You don't really need that anymore. You can delete that. And you'll have the ICW demo.bat and ICW demo install readme. So you'll make sure you want to open this up, at least look at the troubleshooting section. Uh, but for now, since I'm showing you how to do it, you won't need the instructions anyways. But you'll have this ICW demo.bat file. I'm going to show you what's inside this. You don't need to open this yourself, but I'll show you how it works. So you'll have the SWFOC and space mod path equals mod slash Imperial Civil War. So it's essentially telling the uh, telling Windows to look for this exe file and then change the data it's loading from to here. You're going to go to, you're going to cut this, you're going to put it back in your EAWX folder. So here we are. It's the same folder that you have swfoc.exe in. Again, if you do not see the exe part, that is completely fine. It's just you probably don't have the file extension showing. So in order to run the mod at this point, all you have to do is double click icw demo.bat and that'll launch the mod. Uh, if you want a desktop shortcut, you can actually send to desktop create shortcut. You just got to click that and you'll have a desktop shortcut to the mod. Uh, if it comes up, if you have, when you double click this, a little black box comes up that usually me and then disappears and then the mod doesn't launch or the game doesn't launch, that usually means you're not in the same folder as your uh, Forces of Corruption executable file, so the swfoc.exe. So you want to make sure that you're in the correct folder for that. 
uh, and make sure that your mods folder is in the correct folder. If it launches the base game but doesn't launch the mod, that means that you uh, probably have something wrong with the folder here. You don't, your directory isn't right to get from SWFOC to the mods folder to your demo. Uh, uh, what can happen here a lot is that sometimes people will have inside, they'll go from mods to ICW22 demo, then they'll have another folder called ICW22 demo or something else, and then all these files will actually be inside of this instead of inside of this where they should be. So you shouldn't have that duplicate folder there. All right, so that should do it for installing for GOG. For the retail copy of the game, so if you have the disc version and not the gold pack, you want to go into your program files. You'll look for LucasArts. Then you're going to look for Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. And then you're, you want to get into the folder that has the swfoc.exe file. If it doesn't say .exe, then that's fine. It probably just means you have file extensions turned off. In that folder, if it doesn't already exist, you want to create your mods folder. So that's right click, new folder. So once we're in here, see we have the source. These are some other mods I have for it. Uh, this is where you're going to want to have your zip file. So right click your zip file. If you're using 7-zip, you'll have this option here, extract all. If you're using WinRAR, you'll have these options here. Uh, if you're using WinZip, I can't remember what it's called. It should be either this same set I th or it'll be this one. But the most convenient one is extract here and then that'll just extract it. The other one, if you're using 7-zip, like I showed you how to download at the start of the video, you're gonna click on extract all. And then you're gonna change the directly that comes up. It's gonna wanna put it in this extra folder here. You don't need that. You want to extract it directly to mods. So we're, we got to mods and we are going to extract now. It asks, you need to get administrator permissions and then we're just going to let that extract. So so now that you have it extracted, you should have these files in here. Uh, you should have the zip still, you should have your ICW22 demo folder, you should have the defreezer files, which is for the unit selection bug that Empire War has, uh, and this lets you fix the saves for that. And you should also have a batch file and the install readme. Always read this if you're ever having trouble. We do have some troubleshooting stuff uh, at the bottom here. Uh, that's also in the description for the download, wherever you got it. So. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to take this icwdemo.bat file. I'll just show you what's inside that. Uh, you won't need to edit this unless you change the name of the folder, but it's. I'll just show you what it does. So it looks for the. It needs to be in the same folder as your swfoc.exe. It looks for that exe and then it applies this mod path to it. So mod path equals mod slash icwdemo. icw22demo, rather. That's the name of the folder. You just want to take this, you want to cut it. Want to go back to your forces of corruption folder which is where you have the swfoc.exe you just want to paste it so then if you ever want to run the mod for whatever reason uh, you just double click this dot bat file here if you can't see again dot bat that's just because you have file extensions turned off it's no big deal if you want a desktop shortcut you can just send to desktop and that'll create a shortcut for you all right so that should do it for your retail installation i have this uh, if you ever have an issue where uh, the, a little black box will pop up and then it doesn't actually launch the game, that usually means you have the, the, uh, the batch file in the wrong place. It means it's not with the swfoc.exe, so make sure it's in the same folder as that. If you ever launch it and it brings up the main game, that means it's not pointing to the mod folder properly. So you need to make sure that this is called mods and you want to make sure that it goes from mods to ICW22 demo to data. Right, so you don't want it to have, for example, inside the ICW22 demo, another folder called ICW22 demo with all this stuff inside that. You do not want a second folder like this. You just need to go directly from mods to the mod folder to your data folder. And that should do it.